受賞者の皆様にお話を伺いたいと思いますお並びの順にお願いいたしますまず絵画部門のミケランジェロ・ピストレットさんからお願いいたします I thank、uh, the Prince Itaki, the President of Japan Art Association, and the member of the Committee of Selection. I am so honored to receive a so highly prestigious award. It's a marvelous、uh, possibility, occasion, for me to come back to Japan. After the Triennale of Yokohama of 2008,、uh, and、uh, to remember the first exhibition I did in, in Tokyo in 1975,、uh, one man exhibition, and other t i m e I came to Japan、uh, for Art e Povera show in different places like Tokyo,、uh, Hiroshima. Yokohama, and so on. So, I am very pleased to be here again for this incredibly important occasion with the artists that get the, the, the diploma this time, that is,、uh, are the artists that I, I admire the most.、Uh, so, it's a great pleasure for that. And、uh, also, the pleasure to, to meet、uh, friends that I, I I have been、uh, knowing in Japan in the time.、Um, the first, the first、uh, possibility for me to, to understand what was going on in, in Japan it was in the beginning of the 60s.、Uh, when in Torino, we had the possibility, Torino, Italy, we had the possibility to see art from all over the world、uh, American, French,、uh, English. And Japanese.、Um, at that time, the, the Gutai group was present, and other uh, important uh, artists were coming to show their work in, in, in Torino. And this it was fantastic because it was like to be here,、uh, to be、uh, in contact with the artistic world of Japan.、Um, the feeling that、uh, I have of, of this country in the artistic way is that also in the past,、uh, the traditional art was very, very close to the modernity. Very close to the modernity.、Um, I, I, it anticipated the modernity because of the rigorous and shy and precise way to, to draw. The way to conceive the space, even in a very small space, to be able to produce enormous, significant <laughs>、uh, expression.、Um, this is something fantastic. The capability of the artist to,、uh, to not only having a possibility of, of working in a big, big, inc- incredibly big space, but even in a very, very small space. And this is, is For me, very exciting. The rapport between space and, and、uh, a human being. Yesterday, Gormley was speaking about his attitude to, to be related with human being and space, and I am in exactly the same position. My, my work is, is based on the self portrait, on the capacity of seeing yourself into the mirror. Uh, but the, the mirror is, is presenting the,、uh, the largest space possible. So one person and the society enter in the work, in my work. And this, I think, is、uh, something that is also related with the other, the other artists and architects that are present t- today here. The, the, the consciousness of the hu- human, human situation. Uh, the, the, the human、uh, condition and the large vision of the world that we have to, to see today. If we want to be artists、uh, that not just work for an aesthetical reason, but also for an ethical reason. So we are in the time of transformation. We are in a time when the artist will, it's taking responsibility, it will take more and more freedom and responsibility in the future. I hope this moment is a, a, a bridge 
uh, from past and future through this fantastic opportunity we have here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, after that, what, what can I say? Um, Michelangelo, uh, I think you speak for all of us when you say what an honor it is uh, to get a prize from here and from the emperor. For me, Japan is a special place, a place where somehow a contact with the elements, with earth, with sky, with water, has never been lost, however developed the tools that extend human capability have become. Japan's ability to stay in contact with time as duration, to be in the present, to have hope for the future, is an example for the whole world. Japan never lost its soul. And for artists whose work is, in a way, to tune or give the instruments by which the soul can know itself, Japan has a special place. So for me, there can be no greater honor. I, I have received one or two other prizes. Prizes are always an encouragement. Prizes are always an encouragement to the artist, but hopefully also an encouragement to other institutions, corporations, and human uh, associations to take art seriously. So far as I'm concerned, art is the way that life expresses itself. And it is through institutions like the um, Premium Imperiale that others can be encouraged to take those instruments produced by art and, and use them. Um, for me, it's a strange thing to be, in a way, praised for, for something you do uh, every day because it's a joy. It's a gift to be able to define the terms of your own labor. But in a sense, the artist's gift only becomes, and in this degree, I, I completely agree with Michelangelo Pistoletto, my fellow laureate, that it only begins to have meaning when it becomes a common, when it is shared, when it becomes collectively owned. It's a curious time that we live in, 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 insofar as so much of the art of our day is institutionalized or made into a commercial product of exchange. So far as I'm concerned, art belongs in the collective realm. And I, I hope that today, and certainly uh, what the emperor and this prize has done over the 25 years that it has been in existence is to encourage this dialogue between common collective experience and the experience of art. Um, I think that's all I have to say. I, I am humbled and honored to be here today with the present Lawrence, but also to be joining the extraordinary collective history of the laureates on the of this last quarter of a century. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I would join <coughs> my fellow laureates and again say this is an extraordinary honor for, for me, um, especially as an architect. I mean, we're, architects uh, occupy strange territory, not really artists, and we depend very much on collaboration with others and 
depend on the talents of the team that we work with, um, quite different to the individual artists that surround me. Um, so first of all, I would like to say that I accept this prize on behalf of the team that I work with, which is um, full of talent. Um, my, um, my experience of Japan similarly goes back a, a long time. In fact, uh, my very first client was uh, Issey Miyake, and my first three buildings were in Japan. So I have a, an enormous um, debt to Japan before uh, I acknowledge the debt of this wonderful honor. Um, like my colleagues, I would join a testament to how, how uh, inspiring one, you know, as a foreigner especially, probably one becomes more sensitive to things that you take for granted. But um, Japan, for designers and architects, is exceedingly inspiring, and I think for similar reasons. Um, Michelangelo Pistoletto referred to the idea of the small space, and that is, in my understanding, and certainly in architecture and design, it's, it's connected to the idea of, of making something out of very little, um, whether that's space or material, and the idea of making the normal um, special. And in a world where we seem to be dealing always with novelty and the spectacular. Um, Japan is always so inspiring for this idea of continuity. And I would also agree with, with Mr. Pistoletto that there is an underlying modernity in this approach. And I think that's why in uh, the, the world of design and architecture, Japan has been incredibly inspiring. It's also been inspiring through the list of protagonists within the Japanese architectural um, firmament uh, from Kenzo Tangi onwards through uh, Professor Maki and uh, Isosaki and uh, Tado Ando, Shino, Shinohara, and now a new generation of Toyo Ito and, and, uh, um, and others, um, especially uh, Sejima. So Japan has certainly professionally offered me uh, incredible inspiration. It's offered me uh, unusual um, professional opportunities and, and uh, also um, a great uh, um, gift of, of friendship be between uh, myself and, and many Japanese uh, colleagues. So. This prize means an enormous amount, uh, as it does to all of us. Thank you very much. Well, of course, I'm very uh, moved and touched to be here. Uh, and representing the field that is the youngest of uh, of my colleagues, the cinema is really uh, just a little more than a hundred years old and uh, began as a, a little uh, attraction, a sideshow attraction, went through three phases. The first was a sideshow attraction of uh, uh, little snippets of film of, uh, of uh, varying lengths and uh, working to uh, uh, reach a very low audience, uh, at, uh, so they thought, uh, using vaudeville and burlesque uh, and magic uh, tricks as its basis, anything that could get the people into the little parlor. And from there it went into a second phase where it began to uh, discover a language of uh, uh, and length and, and a certain uh, uh, regularity as to what these programs were and went through an incredible period in which it began to uh, find itself through the, again, gifts of, of artists throughout the world. The Soviets uh, taught us about montage and the, the, the great period in, in, at this time in, in Germany taught us about um, 
uh, expressionism and imagery. And, uh, and then there was a third phase in which um, the great uh, system uh, that evolved in Hollywood began to uh, uh, turn, turn this, uh, and with sound, uh, turn this uh, little attraction into something that began to be uh, ready to be considered literature. And now we're, I guess, entering a, a fourth phase. Um, we're, we're fortunate to have the, the attention and imagination of the youth all over the world. I think uh, probably the most common desire of young people that I know is to be a film director. And that's very, uh, very, very exciting because uh, although it seems as though the institutional Hollywood system and of course the, the, the auteur uh, way of thinking about things brought it to a final phase. The cinema has not yet been invented. Uh, there are so many exciting uh, frontiers uh, just in the area of the, the, the writing of it, just as the novel went through in its few hundred years, uh, extraordinary change. Um, writing for, for cinema it has only begun to become to explore what it can do, and now that, uh, in fact, we've passed from the age of film into the digital file, uh, for the first time the cinema could begin to aspire to be live. What that exactly means, no one knows, because no one's done it, but it's definitely, uh, uh, it's definitely on the horizon. So uh, I, I feel so touched to uh, uh, to speak for all my colleagues, like architecture, you 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 don't make films alone, and uh, and for the hundreds of people that you see that go on and end titles, it's true. It takes that many people to make a film, and so I'm just really uh, more in the role of the ringmaster often with my films. But uh, I am I am so excited to be part of this. Uh, uh, what is a, a, a new kind of literature that I know is going to uh, evolve very dramatically, and I think we're at a time in which we're going to see what that means. And so, um, very humbly, I thank everyone for allowing me to uh, participate and be one of the uh, laureates. And uh, again, you know, it's true, Japan is, uh, and when it comes to the arts, there is nothing in in life that the Japanese touch that doesn't uh, that doesn't rise to a state of beauty, whether it's food, painting, literature, poetry, everything, and cinema, which is uh, why so many of the the people who inspired me came from this country. Thank you so much. Thank you.